Hello children and internet creepos. Uh, we're doing 7-1 ratio and proportion. Alright? I'm going to talk a little slow and a little weird today because I went to bed really late last night because I was up. I had to, I was running around. I wear this black mask. I run around talking this weird deep voice and I try to help people. But it's difficult because I've only got billions and millions of dollars. But I'm still trying to act like I'm a math teacher. So, you're welcome. Alright? Ratio and proportion. 7-1. A ratio compares two numbers by division. Okay, way to write it is uh, A to B. Uh, a with a little thingy right there. What's it called? Ellipsis, is it? Is it? I don't know. Colon? Semicolon? I don't know. Something. Who cares? My English teacher. I don't speak English. All right, and then there's A over B. You'll see this one the most, or this one. You'll see that one sometimes in word problems. Okay. Uh, obviously, B can't be zero because you can't divide by zero. So just going to remind you of that. Now, a place you'll see this a lot, this ratio, is rise over run. Remember when we were dealing with slopes? We're talking about uh, the ratio of rise to run. That's uh, like from here to here. You go up one, two, three, four. That's the rise. Run one, two, three, let's say three. Four over three. That's the ratio. Four to three. Four over three. Ex I'm back. All right. Now, sometimes you'll see a ratio like this. They'll talk about the angle measures in a triangle is one six one to six to thirteen. Okay. Now we're talking about angle measures in a triangle. What do we know? The angle measures always add up to a triangle. I don't care what it looks like. Whatever triangle always adds up to one eighty. So what we do is we stick x behind each of these. 1x plus 6x plus 13x. Now we simplify and solve it. That adds up, that's 20x equals 180. x equals 9. All right, and then we can find, like say they're asking for the smallest angle, you just plug that in there. 1 times 9, so that angle is 9 degrees. Do 6x, so we plug in 9 for x, so 6 times x is 54 degrees. And then we do 9 times 3, which is 117 degrees. If that's wrong, don't worry about it. You're not a math teacher, you can't tell me what to do. Okay, next. This is something you will use, oh, so many times, okay? Like this is, like, if I had to name like the top five things you have to learn in geometry, this is one of them, okay? Because you will see it all the time and it's all <coughs> in the course exam, so you need to know it, okay? This is called a proportion, okay? That means it compares with something else. It's like a bigger or smaller version of the thing we're comparing. Okay, it's like, like what I like to picture is uh, in Doctor in uh, Awesome Powers, Mini Me and Doctor Evil. Mini Me is exactly one eighth his size. Okay, he's the exact same version, but he's one eighth. That's a proportion. Okay, also known as a similarity. But proportion is what we're talking about. All right, it's talking about two ratios being equal. All right, that means they compare to each other. All right. Let's see. I'll show you. A over B, C over D. Okay? Doesn't mean they're the same numbers, but they're comparable. Okay? They're the same ratio, like they compare the same. These suckers right here are called the extremes. These suckers right here, I'm making boxes, are called the means. Okay? Now, what you're going to do to solve this is cross multiply and divide, and I'll explain that later. I just want to show you the terms. When you do, you're going to cross multiply, which multiply those two, then you're going to multiply those two. Okay, right there, that's called a cross product. You'll probably never hear that term again, okay? But I'll tell you what you will hear a bazillion, trillion, bazillion times, and that is cross multiply and divide, all right? We're going to cross multiply. If we say cross multiply, that means we're multiplying across x. It's like DMX, except for without the scratchy voice and the strep throat. Okay, let's do one. All right, let's say 5 over y equals 45 over 63. Now, we're trying to find y. So what we're going to do is we're going to cross multiply and divide. So we cross multiply. It means we multiply across. Doesn't matter which one you do first. I always like to start up here and then go down and get that one. So we do 5 times 63, which is going to be 315, I believe. 
Put your equal sign there. A lot of people forget to put that equal sign there. Now we cross multiply these. 45 times y is 45y. Last step to solve for y, divide by 45. You'd be amazed at how many people miss this, and it still is not that difficult. Okay? And your final answer is 7. Because I glanced at the book and cheated. Okay? So, 7. Found y. That means that 5 compares to 7, just like 45 compares to 63. Alright? And you're thinking, how can this be true? It's so crazy. But it is. Okay? Let's do one with uh, a little bit more complication. How about... All right, let's do another problem, one that's a little more difficult, okay? 2y over 9 equals 8 over 4y. Now, it's more difficult because we've got two of those, so we just multiply. 2 times 4 is 8. y squared equals 72. Now, we've got to get rid of that 8. We divide. Still solve for y. Pretty much after the first step, you're solving for y. y squared equals 9. We do the square root. We know y can equal 3. Or it can equal negative 3, so we would put plus or minus 3. It could be plus or positive 3 or negative 3. Okay? Let's see. That's pretty much proportions, okay? Now, you will see some in word problems, and I want to uh, do that. So I'm going to show you. Let's say, here's the problem. They say Johnny is 2 meters tall. Okay? And his shadow, we don't know. Now, Let's say he's standing next to um, a transformer, and it's Optimus Prime is 16 feet tall, and his shadow is 40. Now, we want to set a proportion. All we do is, you pretty much this is the way I do it, set a line there, division there, division there, set them equal. 2 over x equals 16 over 40. Multiply, that's 80 equals... 16x divided by 16, I believe that's 5. So this shadow is 5, okay? I don't know if it's 16 feet or meters throughout there, but let's pretend like it was all the same thing. And that's it for proportions. Well, the most important thing to ever learn in life.